Okay, let me get started here. Hey everyone, so New Zealand's about to start their referendum to decide on whether or not they want to change their national flag. On September 1, they announced the four finalist designs. These were selected by the flag panel, that is, helping out with this referendum. Three of the finalists feature a fern in the design, which is recognized as a national symbol of New Zealand. These two similar ones uh, both feature the Southern Cross from the current flag, but they replace the Union Jack with a fern. Sort of a compromise kind of design. This red, white, and blue one seems to be the favorite right now, but things could change. We'll see. This design features a koru, which is a representation of a fern in Maori art, which is also considered a national symbol of New Zealand. Now a joke got going online comparing the koru design to a hypnotic spiral, like you are getting sleepy, that sort of thing. Someone even started this novelty Twitter account, at HypnoFlag, where the design takes on this sort of demonic personality. In fact, I recently reached out to HypnoFlag, offering to share a message in this video on HypnoFlag's behalf. So here is the message from HypnoFlag. All shall vote for me. Look deep into my spirals. All shall bow to me. <laughs> so those were the four finalists that the flag panel selected. What happened next though, you might not expect, and it's pretty cool. One of the designs from the original 39 made a pretty amazing comeback. Red Peak by Aaron Dustin. Its symbolism references a traditional Maori creation story, and the red and white section resembles the tip of the stars from the current national flag. And eventually, over 50,000 people signed a petition asking for it to be included as a fifth option. At first, Prime Minister John Key said it wasn't going to happen, but on September 24, Parliament actually voted to include it as a fifth finalist in the referendum. If you ask me, that's pretty impressive, so congratulations to those who made that happen. So those are the five finalist designs. Now the next step is to see which one New Zealanders prefer the most. So the plan is there are going to be two elections. The first vote is from November 20 to December 11 to select the final alternative from the five finalists. The second vote in March 2016 is the final one to decide whether or not New Zealand changes its national flag. For this first vote in November and December, they are going to be using a preferential voting system, which basically has people rank their choices from favorite to least favorite. You can pick just one, you can pick just some of them, or you can do what I do and rank all five designs from your favorite to least favorite. For example, here's how I would rank the five designs. Two things before I begin. Number one, I'm not a New Zealander, so I'm totally cool if New Zealanders want to disagree with me. My opinions probably are crazy. Number two, I think all these designs are good. Uh, I just like some more than others. All right, my least favorite one at number five would be Silver Fern, Black, White, and Blue. I think it's a cool looking design. I just don't think the design is cool enough to deserve the use of four colors. And I don't think you could see the background color difference from very far away. My number four pick, Red Peak. I think it's a beautiful, simple design, but again, with the background of the blue and the black, I don't think they contrast enough. It's a cool design, though. My number three pick, Silver Fern Black and White. It uses the contrast of black and white really well to get its iconic design across. I just don't like the design enough for it to get number one and number two. My second favorite design would be Silver Fern Red, White, and Blue. All it really does is replace the current Union Jack with a red background and a white fern. I think the balance of the two elements, the fern and the southern cross, I think it just harmonizes really well. And my favorite at number one, yes, is the black and white koro design. One of the least popular ones, I think, uh, if my research is correct. <laughs> and I get it, it's really weird, um, but that's kind of what attracts me to it. it Again, it uses only two colors, and it makes the most out of those two colors really well. It's definitely iconic, no other flag in the world looks like it and it's a New Zealand symbol, and I think if adopted, it would be known worldwide. I personally think it's awesome. So that was just for fun, um, but for actual New Zealanders, go make sure you are enrolled to vote, and you can find out how to enroll at elections.org.nz. There's a link in the description for you. If you're enrolled, you should get your ballot in the mail by the end of November. So remember, this first vote is just to find out the alternative flag that's gonna go against the current flag later on next year. Exciting stuff. So let's wait and see what New Zealand decides. Thanks for watching.